hello friends welcome back to my channel so in this quick lecture we are going to see what are different s3 bucket naming rules okay without wasting your time let's get started so friends uh, these are some of the rules that uh, we need to consider while you know naming our s3 bucket in the amazon s3 so the first rule is it the 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 characters like the name of the s3 bucket it must be between minimum 3 to maximum 63 characters long and while we say the characters so it should you know it should consist of only lowercase letters or numbers or dot and hyphens then it must begin and end with a letter or a number another rule it says like uh, it must not be formatted as an ip address say for example this is the ip address 192.168.1.1 so we cannot keep the name of history bucket as the ip address okay so it should not be like that then uh, the, the next rule that's it states like you know it must not start with a prefix xn hyphen say for example i cannot keep the name of my s3 bucket as xn hyphen uh, my s3 bucket okay it, it's not allowed then uh, we have another rule which states like it must not either end with a suffix dash s3 allies say for example my s3 bucket and dash s3 ally so it should not be you know like this so let's see some of the examples like which are you know recommended and not recommended s3 bucket name so say uh, in the example you can see we, the some of the examples of the buckets name which are valid and which also follow the recommended naming guidelines are these say doc example bucket one okay we can uh, we can use a bucket name like this then another bucket name like you know, log dash delivery dash march 2020 we can use even this as well and even the my dash hosted dash content we can use these uh, some of the names which are valid as well as recommended okay so the next category is uh, the bucket names which are valid but not recommended say we these are recommended only in case we are going to use static website hosting using s3 that we are going to see soon Okay, say for example doc example website.com then www.docexample.com and my.example.s3 bucket so even these kinds of uh, rules or names should not be there unless it's a static website hosting and finally let's see you know which are the bucket names which are not valid say the first is doc underscore example underscore bucket this is not valid because you can see it contains underscores then next example is doc example bucket here the first uh, letter of each you know uh, this uh, is capital so using uppercase letters for the s3 naming is not uh, you know it's not allowed and it's not valid and uh, the next type of example which is not valid is, is doc dash example dash bucket and after that like it's ending with a hyphen so even this is not valid see if it was until you know bucket without hyphen then then yeah we we have seen like that was valid but since this is ending with hyphen so in this case it's not valid i hope you got the point okay so friends uh, this was a very quick summary okay and uh, i hope you liked it so please uh, like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel it's cloud with mosin and thanks for watching okay please let me know if you have any queries in the comment section below yeah, thank you